coming up in here with that woman. From Uncle Mike, I can't believe y'all defend cats who work 40 minutes a night and then go back to the jet in the luxury hotel after getting treatment. Exactly. All these excuses and defending all of these billionaires, close to billionaires. Man, GTFOH, a lot of them. What about competing? You know, competitors want to compete. Competitors want to compete. Oh, boy, this is a problem that we got in 2017. Um, from Cornelia Small, it says, Doug, one thing you're forgetting, Jordan era coming up basketball with seasonal. LeBron's era, AAU and regular teams, these young guys play year-round. By the time they get five years in the league, they have way more miles and they don't sleep. Man, whatever. That sounds like a damn excuse to me. I don't care about that shit. Sound like a damn excuse to me. Excuses are the tools of the incompetent. They build monuments and nothingness. And those who specialize in them are seldom good at anything else. Excuses, sir. From Chuck D, Texas Tide. Chuck Berry was was replaced by the Fat Boys. Uh, from T Dub. Yes, yes, we did. And we listened to that Chuck Berry stuff, man. It's like, man, we can't do a whole three hours of this damn Chuck Berry stuff. God rest his soul. From T-Dub, shorten the damn season if you don't like the player sitting. Um, that would be an idea, but the problem with that is statistics would be affected. Career statistics would be would be affected. If you got guys, and really, I guess, it, 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 statistics only really matter per se or they are or they are dominant topic of conversation in baseball, more so than football and basketball. And I'm, maybe at some point in the NBA, they didn't play 82 games. Maybe they played 72 games, and they increased to 82 games. When I was a young boy, they played 12 games in the NFL. And then they went to 14, and then they went to 16. So I guess at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but off the top of my mind, if you change the amount of games, then statistics are going to be kind of skewed based on history. Uh, it's no big deal. Uh, all you need to do is just start the season a couple weeks earlier. That's right. Uh, so that you can spread the games out, the 82 games out over, you know, a, a greater period of time. And they've done that. I talked about it earlier. David uh, or uh, Adam Silver talked about how, you know, they made all these provisions in the schedule trying to accommodate this request of more free time or to be uh, or to have more days off. Uh, from Sydney Jackson, once again, happy birthday to his baby girl, but he's probably about to say something ignorant right now. Sidney Jackson, also, while y'all worrying about LeBron resting, resting, the orange man is taking credit for Kaepernick not being signed with the team. This resting rant is BS. Um, so, Sidney Jackson, once again, brother, happy birthday to your baby girl. But this is, this is a, a big topic of discussion. Right now, it's basketball season. This is how this works, okay? If you didn't notice, I guess you didn't notice. This is how this works. We talk sports, for the most part, seasonal or seasonally right now is basketball season this is the number one headline at the top of most sports websites this is what we talk about you know when football comes around it's dominated by football talk uh, we really don't talk a lot of baseball around here so that's not a good example you know what i mean this is a topic of discussion sir uh, I have it on my notes to get to this whole thing about Donald Trump and Colin Kaepernick. We'll get to that in a second. But because you're a fan of LeBron James, because Tiffany Sports and Heels is a fan of LeBron James, and y'all hate that sports media and sports talk hosts are picking on LeBron. Doesn't mean we're not going to stop talking about LeBron and basketball. Please, I'm sorry. It don't work like that around here. From WOD504, man, Doug, keep claiming the show moving, reminding me of that building fund media at the black church. (laughs) 
No lie. True story. And that's a very good point, sir. I, I get it. No lie. True story. My entire life, and this is kind of like a little joke, an inside joke in the black community, there's always a building fund going on. My entire life, up until I was probably like 16, 17 years old, we had a building fund at my church, Centenary United Methodist Church. Me and my cousin Tyrone Simmons, you know, went to the same church growing up. It's a family church. It's pretty much a church that consists of like three, four families. It's the Simmons. It's the Stewarts. Uh, it's some Bryants, you know, and that's it. It's like four families that go to this church, the Whites, and that was it. But my entire life, we had a building fund. My entire life. And we built a new church probably when I was 17, 18 years old, and I went to college. We got this new church. And when I come back home, I came back home for the first time um, after this new church was built and attended uh, Sunday service or whatever. The very first week, and maybe I'm off by a week or two, but the very first time I go back into church, they already take a collection for a new building fund. <laughs> But, but, Pastor, we just built a church last year. Uh, this the building fund for 2035. Um, yeah. So, no, it's going to happen. We are moving to a new church. We are. Right. We we are definitely moving into a new church. It's going to happen very soon. But just like, you know, the issues that you had with the building fund, we had to make sure we got to make sure that we do it right. We're just not going to leave this nice church if we can't go to a just as nice or better church. OK. From KC, I'll take the money and not play. NBA players. Exactly. Uh, from Barbershop Sports Talk Podcast. Thank you, Sydney. But rightfully so. If you work for ESPN and have seen the past few weeks these games without stars, you got to be concerned, especially if your pockets are affected. This is really not a, a, a difficult, you know, hard thing to understand. You know, why the sponsors would be mad that you're not playing uh, the top players. They didn't pay the, – the product that they paid for wasn't the second and third stringers. It's very simple, really. I don't even understand how it's become this big of a, of a discussion. From uh, Sidney Jackson, he says, I hope advertisers pull out. The less commercials, the better. I tune in to see the games, not the ads. <laughs> yeah, but if advertisers pull out, you know, then that money has to come from the players' paychecks. The players want their money. They want those paychecks. <laughs> And maybe you posted this, Sidney Jackson. I don't know what's going on with you today, man. You woke up clearly on the wrong side of the bed. Maybe you made that comment before I broke down the whole way how advertising works in radio and TV. Okay? Right. So the basketball players, they don't want advertisers to pull out because people aren't watching. That's, that's a direct tie into the money that they make. The big contracts that these these guys got last summer, or maybe it was the summer before, is directly tied into this TV money, as Uncle Mike so eloquently put it earlier. Yes. So stop that. This this, this, this is tied together. It's all a business, man. From uh, Corey, Sydney, if the advertisers pull out, the game will will be on uh, tape delay. I don't think we'll go back to tape delay in the NBA. But it'll be less money in the players' pockets eventually. That's, a, that's what they call trickle-down economics. Less fans watching, less advertising dollars from advertisers, meaning less money or less uh, less money in the players' pockets. That's trickle-down trickle down, uh, economics. That's trickle-down economics. Right. That's trickle-down economics. Simple as that. Players like the money that they get. They like the fact that the NBA got this new TV deal last year. They like the fact that their salaries went up to some ridiculous amount that half the players really, in relative terms, some of the greatest players in the NBA don't deserve. (laughs) 
Right. Uh, from Rough Buff, Tiffany, send me a pic of your strawberry. What? They talking about sending pics of strawberries. Uh, from Ducking and Dodging, didn't know they had a single parent day. Laugh out loud. Yes, they do. I mean, even single parents need their own day. From Rail the Intern, Scott, I thought we calmed down or dug down from the last break. I'm good, man. From uh, Sin, damn you, Nova. This might get a BPA nomination, but move on, Doug. Damn, we tired of this shit. You're exactly right. You're getting a BPA nomination right now. Exactly. I'm glad you reminded uh, me. As a matter of fact, you, you remind me to give BPA nominations to a couple other people today as well. While I'm at it. So sensational for disrespecting the host. Okay. And so we'll also, we grab two note cards. That's a note card. Uh, We'll also give a... A retroactive ball penis from 15, 20, 30, 45, an hour ago. The Sydney Jackson. <laughs> Baby girl birthday and all. Nominated for some ball penis. And uh, he's talking reckless. That's the reason why we'll say he gets nominated. If you're new to the Doug Stewart Show, we give our ball penis every Friday to the Buster of the Week in sports, entertainment, and beyond. And sometimes we give it out to students. Thanks for the reminder, Sin. We really do appreciate that, brother. Thank you very much. Appreciate that, brother. Enjoy that BPA nomination. Uh, when we get back from the break, we will talk about Colin Kaepernick and this Donald Trump thing. Eventually, we'll get to it. We may not get to it when you want us to get to it. But eventually we would move on. We're going to move on. A lot of times we stay on a topic because that's all that's being talked about in the chat room. Because I read a lot of chat. We're trying to stay on this resting players narrative. So we will move on. But only when we good and well get ready. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> exactly. Don't let nobody fool you. There's only one ninja running this show, and that's me. You damn Skippy. Back in three minutes. Schemes of getting rich, controlling, and holding, bank rolling and such. From the young age of nine, shorty had enough. Only scenes in his eyes was corrupt. This is how you get what you want, what you need. Top of the line for shorty, blooming Project C. Got the smart for the school, but love the street living. Excited is my fame division. Napoleon claimed the name, played the part, maintained the heart, knew the game. Street raised to stay smart. Shorty made it all for me, crafted 16. Do the math, added in dog years. That was too well advanced for all his average peers, but had a team on some wild out teams committed to.